out of the way. U.S. says Putin on the invasion bring after the separatists claim Ukraine aggressions. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said he believes Russia will invade Ukraine within hours after separatists on Wednesday asked for Russia have to repel Ukrainian aggressions as a, an as explosion rocked by breakaway eastern city of Donetsk. Blinken told NBC News he expected Russian force would attack Ukraine overnight, although he still held out hope for diplomacy to pull Europe back from the brink of war. Everything seemed to be in place for Russia to engage in a major aggression against Ukraine. Blinken said in an interview, adding he could not be precise about time or place. The United Nations Security Council was posed to discuss Ukraine on Wednesday night, diplomats said. The 15 member bodies second late night meeting on the crisis this week. Ukraine requested the meeting, blacked by the United States and five other council members. After the separatist request for you for Russian help. Hours after separatist Israel they pre interpreted by some of those as offering Russian President Vladimir Putin the pretext needed to commence his invasion. At least five explosions were had in a separatist held eastern Ukraine city of Donetsk. On Thursday morning, a router witness said four military trucks were seen heading to the scene, but the cause of explosion was not known. Convoy of military equipment, including night tanks, were seen moving toward Donetsk on Wednesday. From the direction of Russian border, a router's witness reported. Shelling had intensified in the east, where Putin had recognized two separatist reasons as independent and ordered the deploy of what he called peacekeepers as move the West called the start of an invasion. The UN, for its part, had assigned the use of the term peacekeeper for members of what is more aptly in an invasion force. But there was still no clear indication of whether Putin would launch a mass assault on Ukraine with the tens of thousands of troops. He has gathered on its border. Moscow has long denied that it has plans to invade. The leaders of the two breakaway areas want Putin to intervene. I'm asking for help to repel the Ukrainian regime's military aggression against the population of the Donetsk People's Republic, said Denis Pushilin, who has the area Moscow recognized that independent according to test news agency. The White House directed the comments at another Russian failed flag operation and fake crisis manufacturer to justify greater Russian military intervention. This is an example of this. White House Press Secretary Jens Psaki told reporters that is suggesting that they feel under threat by whom the Ukrainians that the, US, the Russians are threatening to attack. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Moscow had improved of offensive and not replied to an invitation for work for talks. Today I initiated a telephone conversation with the president of the Russian Federation. The reason was silence. He said, UN chef 
Antonio Guterres has dismissed claims of a genocide in eastern Ukraine under international law. Genocide is an intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a national, ethnic, racial, or religious group. A total of 80% of soldiers assembled are in a position, in a position to launch a full-scale invasion on Ukraine, a senior U.S. defense official said. Satellite emergency taken on Wednesday show the new deployments in western Russia, many of them within 10 miles 60 kilometers of the border with Ukraine and less than 50 miles from the Ukrainian city of the Kharkiv, U.S. satellite company Masa said. The image show few employment military convoys at a artillery and armored personnel carriers with support equipment troops. The image could not be independently verified by routers. A 30-day state of emergency in Ukraine restricting the freedom of movement of conscripted reservists, curbing the media and imposing personal Document checks, according to a draft text, begins on Thursday. The Ukrainian government had also announced compulsory military service for all men of fighting age, while the West had held off the most stringent, stringent sanctions measures it could compose. The United States stepped up the pressures by imposing Shenston on the film building the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline and its compo offices. Germany on Tuesday froze approvals for the pipeline, which has been built but was not yet in operation and misconcern it could allow Moscow to weaponize energy supplies to Europe. The rubber plunged more than 3% at the European Uni Union blacklisted Russian lawmakers, freezing their access and banning travel, was three slipped on the news of security measures taken by Ukraine's government. Ukrainian government and state websites would have experienced outage in recent weeks, blamed by Kyiv on cyber attacks, working offline. On Wednesday, Ukraine Parliament, Cabinet and Foreign Ministry website was affected. Moscow had described warning of an invasion as anti russia hysteria. On Wednesday, it took down flags from its embassy in Kiev, having ordered its diplomats to evacuate for safety reasons. Ukraine military said one soldier has been killed and six wounded in increased shelling by pro-Russian separatists using heavy artillery, mortar bombs, and grass rocket systems in two breakaway areas in last 24 hours. Russian had presented the crisis mainly at the dispute with the West demanding security guarantee, including a promise never to allow Ukraine to join NATO. Đọc hơi vấp anh nhỉ?